Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thanks very much for watching our earwax removal video today. Uh, oh my goodness, this was such a big wax removal, this one. Uh, patient comes through very, very blocked up in both ears. Uh, now we have seen this patient oh, a good few years back, uh, but they haven't actually been back in to see us and they'd started to notice a few issues as far as their hearing was concerned. Um, these ears are completely chocker block front to back, very, very thick and sticky type of earwax as well, almost this sort of clay consistency. So we're going straight in here with the Jobson horn and you'll see that we just snook over the top there. These little sort of dry skin flakes around the outside edge. Now that's contributing to the dryness of this wax as well. So this patient isn't quite producing as much oil around the outside part of the ear canal. And then that's not, obviously the, the wax can't absorb any extra oil to soften it before it leaves the ear canal. So it ends up with this very dry, uh, stickier consistency that looks a lot like sort of Play-Doh or clay. And when that happens, it starts to stick to the canal wall and everything then backs up behind it. Now you can see as we're putting this in, um, when we put the jobs in honey, I'm trying to work over the, the chunk of wax in here, uh, but I just can't get over the top of it. It's so big and it's so uh, firmly stuck to all canal walls that we're just having to kind of take a, a chunk out of the front of this. And you'll see this little groove that's being made continuously there you go by the jobs and horns. So you can see as that comes down, you get some idea of that, that kind of consistency uh, that we're talking about here. But we're taking a central core away and the plan then is to try and fold the two sides into that core to unstick the sides because at the moment it's so firmly stuck all around all the way around the outside edge this is why we're not really getting a lot of movement you can see really really dense cilia here as well uh, and because we this uh, this wax is right you know, the, the, so the front end of it is right at the entrance to the canal we're having to work behind those cilia to very uh, gently take this away, but it does obscure the view a little bit. So as we go a bit deeper in, there you go, you'll see we'll just push past those cilia. So you can see I'm right on top of the the, uh, the jobs and horny, so right on top of the tools. Now one thing you can say with the jobs and horn is obviously you've got this very, this is this is the more circular type of jobs and horn here. Um, what you've seen me use in the past a lot, um, the more oval type, um, which does help sometimes to get into this thicker wax, but then when you take a scoop, you take a very thin scoop away. So I've opted to go for the, the, the more rounded uh, Jobson horn here, which has the benefit of scooping more away when you do get some away, but the only downside that I particularly feel with this one is when you're pushing into this particular consistency of wax, because you've got that more rounded end rather than the oval, more slightly more pointed end, it doesn't push in quite as far, but you do get quite a big scoop when it does take it away. And uh, you can see we're really working away. We've taken quite a bit away already, but there's still a lot in here and the patient's still struggling quite a bit to hear here. So I've just pushed down, we've cleared quite a bit of the central section. So we're just gonna push more into the outer uh, edge. So when I'm taking the central section away, I don't tend to push all the way down to the bottom. What I tend to do is just scoop that central layer away. And there's a reason I do that is because the outer section tends to be a little bit harder. So if you've scooped enough the middle way, what you'll t get is this kind of effect now where you get a much bigger chunk of that outer section of wax, which has become a lot harder against the canal wall. That tends to come away in much, much bigger pieces. So I tend to do the same procedure here, which is take quite a bit of the central portion away and then try and scoop. Look at this coming away now. As this comes away, that you can see how much then is stuck still to the canal wall. Uh, that little layer of dry skin under there as well, which also helps to bind that outer shell together really, really well. So we just, you can see, it really doesn't look like we've made a dent in this. We've taken so much away already, uh, but it really looks like there's still quite a bit in here. No obvious sign of the eardrum here. So you're relying a lot more heavily at this point on anatomical features of the ear canal, which is the other reason that I take that outer section away uh, last. I, I kind of pull the, the middle section, then take away the outer section. It reveals a lot of the, the sort of anatomical uh, markers, if you like, that we rely on as we go down into the ear canal. There we are, we get into a much older type of wax here. It's a little bit tougher to get into. Look at that section. So we'll try and take this left hand side away now. Look, there we go. You can see I'm just sneaking into the main portion of the wax and then scooping across to the left hand side here to try and break some of that outer hard shell away. 
here we go there is a lot coming away look at the color of that as well the 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 central core you can see here is almost this ebony color and then the outer section is much lighter uh, color material here so we've got so far into the ear canal so what I'm going to do this time um, obviously to keep pushing into that central portion of wax uh, blindly can be a little bit problematic obviously if it's if it goes really close to the eardrum so what I'm doing here is introduce a little bit of olive oil and I'm now working my way around the outside edge so we're just going to start lifting this much much drier uh, outer husk of wax here uh, taking that away you'll see a little bit of dry skin lifting there just underneath the uh, suction tube to the right hand side that whiter material there is a layer of dry skin around the outside edge of the canal so just pulling all this lovely nice and centrally in there and by detaching this outer section sometimes what we get then is, is a nice mobile uh, portion of the um, plug then that will come away and slide across that skin a little bit better it's also helping to work the olive oil down the side of that dry skin as well uh, forming a little sort of almost like a little uh, lubricant barrier then if you like uh, underneath this oil you can see as we're taking these outer sections away we're hoping to get this little bit more movement uh, but nothing obvious as yet so we may have to take a little bit more of this central plug away here I'm just you can see I'm just probing all the way around this wax uh, looking for any anywhere we can get a little bit of purchase on this to get this moving but did you see that as we start to pull that section away it looked like it had a you know quite a bit of movement um, but I think that's just because this is very thin layer around the outside edge here uh, especially in that particular area so as we pulled then the whole thing folded over to the the central portion here so as you can see we're just tucking all the sides in so we're gonna have to go back in with the Jobson horn now just you can see pushing you can see I'm a little bit more cautious there uh, more sort of scraping along the surface here rather than sort of pushing into that plug of wax and very very slowly there we go that's what I wanted to see see that movement now we've pulled all the sides in we've got a grip on that central section just push down enough to hold on to that uh, outer uh, harder uh, husk there and that's drawn the whole plug further down the canal so what we're going to hopefully try and do now it's, you can see it's a little bit more mobile now when I'm touching with the jobs and horn you're getting a little bit of flexing to the wax there uh, let's go over the top of this let's see if we can fold this in that can't quite get over the top we don't want to push this further back in so let's try and scoop a little sideways movement try and catch that husk of dry uh, wax and skin I didn't quite catch it enough to bring it out but we've managed to turn it just ever so slightly now I've created a gap let's jump over the top of there there we go and draw this whole last section of wax away look at this coming away here guys I'm gonna drop back in a second there you go so you can see it out that comes look at the size of that now bearing in mind what we've already taken away but look at the size of that last plug that came away there that is a monster it's so so big lots of dry skin around the outside edge and let's take a look there's the eardrum we've got this dry uh, piece of wax here stuck it'll probably be stuck quite firmly so we'll just try and see if it's loose enough here to take away with the uh, standard size zona tube unfortunately what you can see is as I'm trying to get a grip on it that's all it's doing is it's pushing this wax further in so there's probably a little bit of dry skin holding this in place which I can just about see when I pull down there we are it's holding on to it so let's go in see if we can clamp that bottom section there uh, with the crocodile forceps got a hold of one little hairs embedded in this if we can clamp onto this bottom section here oh there's a little bit we've managed to pull it forwards let's grab it again there we go and if we give that a good slow bit of movement towards the outer part of the ear canal that whole thing is going to come away and take that dry skin with it there we go it's not a small piece either you could see that whole layer then to the right hand side of that plug uh, which had all the dry skin look how clear that ear canal is the eardrum looks perfect really shiny really pleasant uh, and this is the patient's other ear and you can see it's exactly the same on this side uh, so we're just going to go straight in here with a Jobson horn let's see if we can get we've got a little gap here just at the front so let's try and break this front section away 
and then we'll get a much better idea if we can get behind this plug and draw this out big big chunky piece of wax there coming away on that front section you can see very very dark you could see it was very smooth as well um, I mean this wax has been in here for such such a long time it's oh, I'm just trying to get over the top of this next section there we are. I've managed to sneak over the top here ah, let's draw this down good size piece coming away there that's good do we going to drop it? No, it stays attached. There you go. So you can see how thick that is. It really, really does look uh, very, very dry. Now, we've taken the left-hand side. Now, what we're going to do now is switch over to the right. Take that right chunk away here. There we are. You can see we're kind of working across the face here. Uh, so you should take that left-hand side away, take the right-hand side away, and then you could, you've got a smooth surface to work on again then. There we are. You can see a little bit of dry skin there to the bottom right hand corner of that as well. Let's take a look at this now. How are we looking here? Can we get behind this at all? Not quite yet. Those cilia are a little bit more problematic because we are still on the outer part of the ear canal here. So you've got, you can see I've gone centrally. I'm going to scoop to the right now and try and draw this forward. Now to me, there did look like there was a little bit of movement there as we started pulling this across to the right. So let's see if we can do the same thing again here. Um, you can just see the difficulty here is obviously that the wax is almost exactly the same color as the chops and the horn so you've got to kind of keep an eye on that tool as it's going in but yeah you can see how that bottom left corner when we take another look now is starting to protrude from the ear canal a little bit that means the whole plug has moved forwards this is a really good sign let's see if we can go over the top again dropping down into that harder layer here let's pull around this with the scooping motion here going from left to right you can see but now look at that bottom corner on the left hand side look how that is starting to fall starting to all come away from the ear canal walls there we go there we are look at the size of that plug it is huge dry skin on the front they were still coming out the ear canal at this point there we go and tapers down to a much much thinner section of the back end there but look at the size of that piece of wax you can see how dry this ear canal is all these little tiny lifts of dry skin all around the outside edge but the ear uh, eardrum itself looks absolutely fab seven centimeters i'm gonna i'm gonna say that's three inches of anybody's money that one so three inches of ear wax came up between both uh, both ear canals there and not thin pieces either we're looking at some pretty chunky pieces the just at the very top there second piece down that was the second piece that we took out uh, there oh wow what an amazing one that was a really really good one guys i hope you enjoyed that as much as i did uh, and i shall see you again or oh, look after yourselves look after your ears and look after one another obviously and we shall see you again on wednesday guys take care of yourselves bye everyone